Jared Poland, FronosPhoto.com, and this is your photo news fix. First up, Canon released the C200, a 4K shooting Super 35 camera capable of shooting up to 60 frames a second in 10-bit DCI 4K with dual pixel AF to a new proprietary format called Cinema Raw Light. Dan, quickly, trademark, Cinema Raw, I shoot Cinema Raw Light. Trademark! The camera can also shoot 1080 footage up to 120 frames a second, which is great for slow motion shooting. The C200 will be available in two different models, one called the C200B, which is just the camera bare bones body with no add-ons for $59.99, and the C200, which includes an LCD touchscreen, an EVF, a camera grip, and a handle unit for the price of $74.99. To check out all the specs and read the full press release, click the link in the description below. Though this isn't a direct replacement for the C100 Mark II, which everyone loves by the way, I would have a hard time justifying not picking up a C200 since it takes almost everything the C100 did well and adds 4K and a bunch of other cool features. What do you think about the C200? Would you buy the C200 or still go with the less expensive C100 Mark II? What do you think of when you hear the word Microsoft? I bet it has nothing to do with photography. Now what I think about is Ski Free, that game that was included in Windows 95. Does anybody remember playing that one? The latest news from Microsoft is that they have developed a new curved, Dan, for her pleasure by the way, image sensor that according to researchers produced higher resolution images across the entire field of view when compared to other modern high-end DSLRs. Neil Joshi, a member of the Microsoft research team says, when using curved sensors, it is possible to correct aberrations in a much more efficient way, making it easier to create very wide angle lenses that produce sharp images across the entire field of view or to create fast lenses that produce better images in low light. It's also more straightforward to make cameras that exhibit uniform illumination across the entire image. Can I just say, I really want to just say nerd, but I'll just say that's very technical. It's actually pretty cool how they made these curved sensors. They take a flat sensor, peel off a thin layer of the image wafer before putting it into a mold and using pneumatic pressure to bend it. Check out this video to see how it's done. Does anyone else find the spelling of the word pneumatic to be odd? Pneumatic. Yep, yeah, nope, I wasn't good at spelling in school. I'm still not good at spelling now. The Optical Society reports that tests showed that curving the sensors did not change any of their electrical or imaging characteristics. When used in a prototype camera with a specially designed F1.2 lens, a curved sensor exhibited a resolution more than double that of a high-end SLR camera with a similar lens. Toward the edges of the image, the curved sensor was about five times sharper than the SLR camera. Now I know that's a quote, but I probably think they mean DSLR camera. Everyone knows curved is better, right? Just look at all those TVs Samsung is making and almost no one is buying. Nonetheless, if this gives us all better image quality in the future, then I'm all for it. And now on to the most requested story of the day. Dan, can you please pass me my kid gloves for this one? Thank you. Ooh, look at these, they're pretty. Dan, thanks for the gloves. Kathy Griffin and photographer Tyler Shields teamed up to make what they hoped would be a super controversial political statement. Instead, they ended up shitting the bed. Warning, though I don't think I really need to give a warning for this, here's the picture. In the picture, Kathy is seen looking stone-faced holding what appears to be a severed bloodied mannequin head depicting the President of the United States, Donald Trump. The photographer said Kathy wanted to do something political and that they figured out what would be the best image to make out of that. He goes on to say that's what art is meant to do. Some people look at it and they love it. Some people look at it and they hate it. I understand that there are going to be people that hate this. It's a very touchy subject, but this is not real. No, it's just real tasteless. <sighs> Now here are my thoughts. Any way you slice this, no matter who the president is, this is just incredibly poor taste and should have never been done. It's one thing to make a political statement, but it's another thing to depict the murder of a president. Now let's look at this from a photographer standpoint. I honestly don't know what I would have done if I was in that same situation. On one hand, it's a celebrity slash a friend wanting to make a statement, but on the other hand, it's simply a terrible idea. Now I hope I would have seen it that 
that way, and if I was asked to do the shoot, I would have walked it totally back or simply walked away. There's a million other things you could have done to be political, but that was just tasteless. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. Don't forget to like and comment down below for your chance to win one of my free video guides. To check out the last photo news fix where my brother filled in, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And that's it. Jared Poland, froknosephoto.com. See ya.